Good morning, Jay Nicholas and Chris Daughters at the Caddis Fly Shop. Hey, I'm going to use, uh, we're going to have this in pretty soon, Lagerton Carded Flat Braid. It's amazing stuff. It's, it's, uh, we're going to have it in three different sizes, but it's huge variety of colors. I'm tying, I forgot to put my tail on. I'm tying a really, a muddler. And a muddler is a fly that is super effective and it can be tied in many forms. And I have gone through phases of my life where I've tied them commercially a long time ago. I've also gone through phases of my life where I've been intimidated with them, with the deer hair spinning. And one of my friends Look, actually, several sources of encouragement taught me that. Now, watch this flat braid is so slim. Look at how nicely that lays on there. I've chosen copper this morning. There's, you could use your color of choice. This hook is a Daiichi 1530. It's kind of a short shank hook. Uh, it's an oddball. You could use all sorts of hooks. This is some Senyo's Predator, or Freckled Predator wrap, I think. It's gold and black. A little bit of flash in there. The whole point of tying this fly, let's save that, is mugglers can be kind of daunting but they can be really simple because they don't have to be perfect. I'm going to do something unusual here in that I'm going to tie on a hackle first. And by the way this the the freckled predator wrap I think I've got more in there than I need. So that's one way to take care of that. The thing about mudlers is that they, they, it's a generic form of fly and if you get hung up on exactly how it looks, it can be pesky, but you can tie them in so many different variations and they're just effective. They really are. Um, they're effective for, I think, anything that swims. I mean, you could weight this fly you and could, make it a you could weight you know, really this, good little trout streamer. You could put a cone head on it. You could put a tungsten bead on it. You could put a hot bead on it, a glass bead. Um, this is one. Now, I, I, I like the hackle on there. It, it just, what does it do? It, it just gives the impression of motion, and I'm twitching it along. Now here, so here comes the supposedly hard part. And first, and I'm using a, um, this is a Vivas um, 10 aught thread. And when I was going through my recipe, Chris said, you're gonna spin with 10 aught? Well, I've been, I've been tying mudlers and spinning hair with 12 aught. Vivas, not Vivas. 12 odd. Yeah, Vivas 12 odd. And uh, the fact is, a, a lot of people think that you have to do, you know, super cranking, you know, Kevlar thread sort of thing. I don't think you really do. I think it's possible to... Um, now, if, if, if you're looking for super dense, super perfect, every hair lined up, packed, maybe you do. I don't know. That's not what this muddler is going to look like. This is going to be a rough cut muddler that is going to fish really well. Um, and how do I know that? Because I've been fishing these. Now you didn't cut the tips off that. You're just going I, for it. I'm just going for it. So you're not really going to look for any of the. You're not going to be left with any natural tips on this fly. Uh, there, there may be some. 
we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, I'm really close to the eye on, the, on that hook, and whether I can actually spin another little clump on there is questionable. But I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to pull that back. Now, I haven't been using a hair packer. Some people like to do that. Now, I'm going to kind of um, hope my thread doesn't fall off of there. I'm going to put some super glue on my thread. Pull that hair back out of the way. And I could use a black thread, certainly. And I may try to tie one half hitch there. But with the super glue, I probably don't need it. Okay. So. Uh, we actually have some really cool tools that I don't have one of yet, haven't tried it, a razor blade trimmer. I'm just going to see what I can do These are curved uh, Tamco scissors Very nice Now I don't want to get back, I, I don't want to be cutting off my hackle that I put on there so carefully. So I'm going to slide my scissors and try to capture, and I may have trimmed some hackles there, we'll, we'll find out. But you know what, it's not going to matter if I trimmed a few hackles. There are muddlers that are picture perfect, and there are muddlers that are fish and flies. This is a fish and fly. And there's a lot of differences and opinions and rationale about shaping the head. Do you want to make it look like a sculpin? Do you want to make it uh, I've been fascinated looking at some of the, they fish a lot of muddlers up in Puget Sound for sea runs. And uh, sometimes those flies, they, they're, they literally consist of a, a wisp of squirrel tail for a wing, a couple strands of crystal flash, a cone head, and a little collar of deer hair. Um, quite sparse, uh, very simple. I'm getting close here. So that'll, that'll fish very well the way it is. I'm going to take another 20 seconds to make this head a little bit smaller. The fish, um, the funny thing is, these, these flies will fish so well, they'll fish in the Deschutes, down on Klamath Lake, uh, Williamson, uh, the Rogue, the Klamath, the Sacramento, any of our coastal streams, the McKenzie, the Willamette, fish them dry, fish them wet. Um, I'm going to call it good right there. I hope you enjoy that and I hope that this gives you uh, confidence to tie muddler, spin your hair, and uh, just whack away at it and this is going to be a good fish and fly for you. Thanks.